Welcome and follow me as a Motorola Moto G82 and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this device. So to get started, I can obviously see that the phone I have right here has a lock that's telling me to verify the uh, previously used pattern or if I press right here it's going to tell me to verify it using Google account that was previously logged in on this device. So assuming we would know either of those, uh, to get started you will need to connect to Wi-Fi which I have already done so, which you will be able to see right here. Come on. There we go. So connected. And once you have connected to your Wi-Fi, just go back to the first page. So right over here. And you want to start off by selecting this vision settings, talk back, and enable it. Talk back on. Welcome to talk back. Now I will mute it just so I can actually um, talk over it. But it's not a requirement. Now, once you see this page right here with the talkback description, you want to draw a mirrored L like this. I just press the button, disregard this. There we go. So, draw a mirrored L. This will bring up a window like this one. From here, you want to double tap on the first option, which will be selected by default. So, while using this app, then select by tapping once, use voice commands. And before I tap on it twice, I'm going to quickly go over what we will need to say. Because this will activate a uh, basically Google Assistant. So number one, you'll want to say open Google Assistant. And then once it does so, you will then follow up by saying open YouTube. So now I'm going to do it. Open Google Assistant. Open YouTube. So there we go. Um, as you've seen, you want to wait for like the two beeps, the first one for opening Google Assistant. Once uh, it opens it up, you will hear another beep and then you want to follow it up by selecting Open YouTube. Once you opened up your YouTube, you want to now turn off the talkback. So you do so by holding volume up and down. And tap on Turn On, double tap to confirm. And again, hold both of those volume up and down keys again. And once you get that sound, you can now use the display normally. So let's select the account icon. From the account, we will now follow to settings, about, and then Google privacy policy. From here, select accept and continue, and no thanks. And we should now be in our web browser. So right at the top, you want to type hard reset uh, that info slash bypass. Now I'll write it down myself. And if you need a moment to copy, copy this, just pause the video. So pause the video now, if you need a moment. Now from here, once you're on the site, scroll down and you'll find settings icon click on it and once you're in the settings we will now want to navigate to apps and then you want to select see all 40 apps or however many it shows you click on the three dots and also select show system apps from here you want to start off by selecting Android Setup. Select for stop and OK. Then we're going to go back and we're going to scroll down lower to Google Play Services. Uh, Google Play, there we go. Google Play Services. Click on it and here you want to select Disable and for stop. So basically both of them. Once you have done so, you want to now back out to the settings. So right over here. And navigate to accessibility. Right over here. And accessibility menu and enable it. There we go. 
Now that we have accessibility menu enabled, you just want to spam the back button until you get back to the setup of the phone. There we go. And from here, go through the setup. So now that it's actually uh, glitching out, uh, which is what we're looking for, what you want to do is press on this button, select the assistant button, and it didn't actually show up the, the settings option. There we go. And you want to click on settings and then tap on enable. Now for as you just seen, uh, for me this took virtually zero effort, but I want to stress this, uh, this is not the case uh, all the time. So sometimes it might take you like plenty of tries to get this enabled. Uh, I think at points it took me 30 or more tries to get it. So don't get discouraged, all you need to do is just keep on pressing this, these two, all these buttons, so assistant and settings and then enable, assuming you can because this page right here will close if you well, oh man i don't know how it like why it closes it but basically you want to repeat it till we can enable it if it closes that's fine that's kind of normal for this process so just keep on repeating till you can enable it once it's enabled it will actually stay open so press back once get rid of the google assistant and this will now allow us to finish up the setup so from here all you will need to do is select more and well obviously just finish it up now i'll also add that right now it doesn't really matter what we set up so just go through the process right here skipping everything that we can And once we have access to our home screen, you want to navigate into the settings, scroll all the way down to system, reset options, erase all data, erase all data, and press on that button once again will start the factory reset. Now this is the last step of the process which you want to perform. The reason for this is even though we have access to the home screen right now, the device is still technically locked. So it contains uh, still the like passwords, uh, the old Google account and the pen title and password, whatever it was for you, uh, for you. So by performing a factory reset right now, once the device is set up and going to the settings, we'll remove it. So that is the last step you want to take. Now, I'm not gonna really go all through this on the video just because it will kind of waste your time. It's just a factory reset, which I'm pretty sure everyone knows how it looks like. It's very uneventful. And once it's finished, you can then set up your device however you like. It will go back to the setup, uh, but like I said, you can set it up however you like, add or skip, uh, signing into your, to Wi-Fi, Google accounts and all that stuff. It's all optional at that point. So anyway, that being said, this is how you could bypass the Google verification on this phone. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.